Hello, my name is Dr. Clayton Simon. Welcome to the Medical Moment at Marina Hills Animal Hospital. Today I wanted to talk about medial luxating patellas. What is that, you ask? The patella is the bone on the front of your kneecap. And medial means to the inside. Uh, it is fairly common for small breed dogs who are a little bit bow-legged to have their patellas slip from the normal groove to the inside of the joint. Um, we grade luxating patellas on a scale of one to four. A one means that it is in most of the time and occasionally comes out. A two means it comes out very easily. A three means it's usually out of the groove, but you can push it back. And a grade four luxating patella is out of the groove all the time and you can't make it go back where it belongs. Uh, what's interesting about luxating patella is two things. One, it usually happens in very small dogs, and two, it usually doesn't cause much of a problem. Uh, and the reason is because small dogs don't need the full force of their quadriceps. Here's what I mean. Uh, as they bend their knee, the quadricep is what allows them to straighten their leg. If they were large, heavy animals, then they would need the full force of that quadricep going over the fulcrum, over the front of their knee, uh, over the end of the femur. Um, in the case of the luxating patella, it takes a shortcut and the pet is robbed of the full strength of their quadricep. Since these dogs usually weigh five to eight pounds, it turns out it doesn't matter that much. The time it causes them trouble often is uh, as they're walking along the grade two or three, the kneecap may get caught as it rides over the medial condyle of the end of the femur. As it gets caught, they suddenly have their legs stuck. And so they go along three-legged, and then many of them learn that if they straighten their leg out, it kind of pops back into place. They put their leg down and off they go again. So if you have a small dog who runs across the living room and about halfway goes on three legs, kind of shakes it off and then puts it down and runs on further, odds are it has a medial luxating patella. Some little dogs, when that happens, they panic. It scares them and they're frightened. If that's a frequent event, there are ways to fix luxating patella. Um, if a luxating patella occurs in a large dog that needs the full strength of their quadriceps, those dogs often do need surgery to repair it. So bottom line, if your dog is a little bow-legged and intermittently goes three-legged lame, but then can shake it off, ask your veterinarian to evaluate to determine is it a luxating patella and does it need to be repaired? That's the scoop. Are there any questions? No. <laughs> Do they ever have lateral luxating patellas? Great question. There is such a thing as a lateral luxating patella. Um, it doesn't happen often and it tends to happen in, in larger dogs and it more often does need to be repaired because it's happening in bigger dogs. Yeah, like big uh, long-legged dogs. Great question. question. Yeah. Um, with a luxating patella, can it lead to a cruciate rupture? That's a good question too. The question was, can a luxating patella predispose or lead to a cruciate tear? Uh, the answer is maybe. Um, we see lots and lots of little dogs with luxating patellas their whole life who never have a cruciate problem. So certainly it does not always lead to a, a cruciate tear. But of course, if your kneecap is next to your knee instead of in front, it can't lend extra support because having that quadricep on top, having the kneecap in the front will help provide some resistance to that tibia sliding off, uh, the femur sliding off the back of the tibia. So in theory, you would think it would. In reality, I haven't seen, it doesn't seem to make that big a difference. Yeah. Yes, question. Does it only happen in dogs or can it happen in cats too? Cats can have both medial and lateral luxating patellas. Um, and when it happens in a cat, it bothers them more, and so they tend to need the surgical repair. Uh, but it's pretty rare. Don't see it very often. Great questions.